Hi, I'm Anthony from Riverglide, and this is a synopsis of Cuke Salad. Cuke Salad is a cucumber extension that allows you to focus on expressions of your intent rather than regular expressions. In your cucumber scenarios, it encourages you to focus on the role, the task that role performs, and puts the detail of the specific interactions required to complete a task into files that facilitate reuse. Because it is an extension to Cucumber, it is possible to use it alongside conventional step definition files that use regular expression. I'm just going to show you the basics of Cuke Salad. I'll let you fill in the blanks to see how that fits into your behavior or test-driven development process. So let's take a quick look at a simple example for a conventional calculator. We're going to describe the basic capability of adding two numbers together. Feature files are just regular Cucumber feature files where we can talk about the user's story and the role that that story is relevant to. In this case, the role we, we care about is a calculating individual, someone who happens to use a calculator in this case, no other meaning. And they want to quickly find out the sum of two numbers so that they're not tied out by doing mental arithmetic all day. So let's look at the simple scenario of finding the sum of two numbers. As I said before, Cuke Salad encourages us to think about the role involved. And we start by actually stating the role. What Cuke Salad does in the background is maps that to a module with the same name. That module has methods that are representative of the types of interactions your role would perform with your application. We can then start talking about the tasks that this role will perform. In this case, we're talking about them adding two numbers together. And in this example, adding number 10 to number 10 should give us the answer of 20. So let's see what happens when we run this. It's going to fail because there's still some more work for us to do, but let's find out exactly what we're supposed to do next. So as you can see, it's failed saying that it wanted to add the number 10 and the number 10, but it can't find a task called add and it suggests that you might want to create one that looks something like this. So let's go do that. So far all it's asked for is a task called add and we're going to do that for now. We're going to fill in the blanks in a minute but let's see what happens next. Okay so it's found the task add at the moment it hasn't done anything but now it's saying hey I can't find a task called see the answer notice here expectations are handled by returning a value that is answered by a question in this case uh, asking um, what answer do you see and these are just the same as any other task except at the end of the task they have to return a value so let's go fix that defined in much the same way as before Except this time, we're actually going to use one of the methods that is available to us on the calculating individual. We're going to ask our calculating individual to look at the display of the calculator. Now, this is actually already implemented in our calculator. Um, as I said, I'm just going to show you the basics of Cuke Salad. So let's just close that off. Now, if we run this, we should still see it fail because we haven't explained how to add the numbers together yet. But at least we'll get an answer. Now, if you switch on a calculator and do nothing, what you normally see is zero. Let's see. Indeed, we should see the answer 20, expected 20, but got zero. Let's explain how we're going to add these two numbers together. So we want to get the number 10 and the number 10 as values available to us, and we want to be able to then call methods using those values on our calculating individual. In order to make the tasks read as clearly as possible, we can represent these numbers or these values as follows. If you notice, in order to add the number, which relates to the first number, and we can give that a symbol to reference that, and in this case we're going to say first number, and the number 10 relates to and the number, and we assign that 
a symbol of the second number. And let's interact with our calculating individual. So the things our calculating individual would do are, they enter the first number, they press plus, they enter the second number, and they press equals. Now because this is already implemented in our calculator, because so I'm not trying to show you behavior driven development, I'm just showing you Kik Salad, this should now pass. And indeed it does. These are feature files that are just like any other Cucumber feature file. And you can do the usual sorts of things like scenario outlines with associated examples. And they work just the same. That's what I'm going to show you for now. If you want to find out more and see the other capabilities of Cute Salad, check out the documentation on Relish. There is a simple tutorial that takes you step by step from installation through to having an, a part of the calculator project implemented. The examples provide you with some additional guidance and you can actually see the tests for Cute Salad as a guide to how to actually use it. And each of these scenarios is actually written using Cute Salad. Thanks, I'm Anthony from Riverglide. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.